Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted in Distressed. This video is part of my fall series. And don't forget my previous video, there is a giveaway that ends this Saturday, September 4th. This video, we're going to be taking some of these dollar spot tiered tray starter kits. And I have three different ones here and we're going to be doing a Buffalo check themed tiered tray using items from all three of these kits. So I'm just opening up these kits and trying to decide which ones I want to use for our tiered tray. There's so many different options. It was hard to choose. And my thought process, I wanted to do Buffalo check and um, also a little bit of orange because it is for fall. And so let's get started. <laughs> so I took this book stack and I decided to paint it black. And so I just gave it a good coat of Waverly Chalk paint in the color ink and I distressed it. And then I just cut out using my Cricut Fall Sweet Fall. And you can also, Dollar Tree has all kinds of different stickers and stencils and different things like that that you can use for this. You do not need a Cricut at all. And so then I am just also distressing it, the black part parts, um, just to kind of dull it down a little bit um, with some white wax. And so then once that was dry, then I just added a gingham bow to the top of it. This would have been cute, just left white and just added a bow to it, but I decided to make it black. And let me know what you guys think. All of these are gonna be super quick, fast and easy DIYs that any skill level can do. And I hope you enjoy it. So this next one, we're taking this welcome sign. Now let me tell you, this was a pain in my tuckus. So first I took this distressed Buffalo check scrapbook paper and thought I was gonna use this. But I spent a lot of time going in through each and every little crevice of the sign and decided I didn't like it. So then I took some Buffalo check vinyl that I got from Dollar Tree and I did the same thing. <laughs> And this actually was easier because it had some it because it's vinyl and so it has some it's kind of like a sticker and so it's very easy to um, attach and I didn't have to use any glue or anything and then I'm just using a nail file to get into all the teeny little cracks and crevices and this is how it turned out I did paint it and distress it a little bit on the top to give it a little bit more character and dimension Moving right along, this is another one <laughs> I should have left alone. Um, so first I started with, I wanted this to match my decor and the color scheme. So first I colored it, um, I just covered over the words. And I should have just left alone because that would have been really cute with the black words and the pumpkins. But no, 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 I cannot leave it alone. Ended up painting the entire thing and then using my Cricut and the Dollar Tree vinyl, I cut out this pumpkin and <laughs> did that. Um, and then I just took the wood beads from the pack and I added a little hook on the top for some added embellishments. And I would love to know, do you guys think I should have left it alone or do you like it this way? And I just used some hot glue to attach it. And um, they were a little flimsy at first, so you have to make sure to get the beads really tight um, together and then hot glue them but you don't want them to be too tight so <laughs> it was trial and error a little bit and I'm just cutting off the ends and then this project was done also and again let me know what you guys think if I should have just left it alone or if you think this is cute and of course I had to choose the truck because this is so cute and so I'm just painting the rails using Antiquing Wax by Waverly. And this is another one I probably could have just left. But the orange was, um, it was a different shade of orange 
than what I was going for. Um, and so I just took some pumpkin by Waverly and I gave it a couple coats. And it already had the wording on it and everything. I could have just lightened it by using white wax, but I just, I could not leave it alone for some reason. <laughs> And I also decided this truck needed some little pumpkins, and since I can't find the Buffalo Check mini ones from Dollar Tree, hoping I do someday, I decided to take these wooden apples from Dollar Tree, and I just took some gingham material. I cut the apple in half, actually my husband did. He cut it in half, and then I added, I took out the stem and I added a wooden dowel, and then I just hot glued the fabric all around and I kind of wanted them to be comically bigger than the truck, including the stem, and so that's why they are a little bit big. And then I made two of them, and I just hot glued those to the top, or to the bed of the truck. And I wanted them to kind of look rustic, so I kind of fringed the tops of them a little bit. And I could have stained the stems as well, but I just left them natural. And then I cut out Pumpkin Farm on my Cricut, just using regular removable vinyl. And then I attached that to the front of the truck. And then I just add these half wood beads to kind of go with the stones of the pumpkins. And then I just use some white wax to give it some distressing and a little bit of character. And then this project was done. Let me know what you think. Should I have left this one? Or do you think this turned out cute? Constructive criticism is always welcome. And this next one, again, i it's cute as it is. Should have just left it, but no. I painted it pumpkin all the way around and then decided to add buffalo check scrapbook paper to the front of it, but then the edges still had some orange on them. So it matched and went with my tiered tray. So I wanted kind of a good balance of the blacks and the whites and the oranges and the woods, also the wood tones. I didn't want, you know, too much of one thing. So I was trying to make sure there was a good balance. And then I just took this wood shaped house and then I just added some Buffalo check scrapbook paper as well. And as you can see, it's a different paper because I decided I liked this one better to go with the rest of the theme. And then I just added the wood bead tassel um, onto the front of it. And then this one was done. These are super easy. And then this one, it was a little bit of a peachy color. So this one definitely did not go with the rest of the theme. And so I just gave it a couple coats of Waverly chalk paint and ivory. And then with my Cricut, I printed out, may your pumpkins be plump. Because we're all a little plumper around the holidays. And it, I could not decide what I wanted to do with this ribbon, so I decided to put it on either side to cover up the holes. And I think it actually added just the right touch for this. And this ribbon is from Dollar Tree as well. And then I just added some wood blocks to make sure that this would st stand up. And then this project was done. These are super easy, quick, fast projects that any skill level can do. And you can make them your own. These starter kits are great. They're $5 a piece in the Target dollar spot. And I think they're such a great idea. 
and these are all the projects together and and I did leave some of them alone for the record <laughs> and I would love to know what you guys thought of these projects and let me know which ones I should have left alone and make sure that you also check out my video that I posted before this one and it has all of the information on the giveaway and I will catch you guys on the next one thank you so much for watching bye